The old Essex County Penitentiary, it is history on a hilltop, and it's soon to be just that. Kay Havnanian is building new homes, and that means the big house is in its final days, built on what was once the farmland of Essex County in 1862. 99% of history is what the rest of us do. It's not what the presidents do, it's not what the generals do. 99% of history is how people live their lives, and part of it is how people fall on hard, time, hard times. You've got these gigantic locks, unlock systems. Double Though falling systems. apart, it's truly a time capsule. Once a lockup for Confederate prisoners in the Civil War, finally shuttered eight years ago, you look around now, there's peeling paint and graffiti everywhere. The steel bars are impossible to miss, and so are other prison staples, a guard post, and the place where visitors came to meet inmates. This is where no prisoner wanted to be sent. This is solitary confinement, a row of just four cells. Take a peek inside here. These things are only five feet wide, maybe eight feet deep. You got a cot and a toilet bowl. That's it. At one point, the prison held up to 1,300 criminals. Row after row of cell blocks attest to its size. This was the big house, and you didn't spend a long time here. This were people from the community. It was people from Bloomfield and all Verona and all the surrounding towns, Newark. People like Thomas Flannery in a startling find, just lying on the floor, prisoner records. Crime, larceny of a motor vehicle, 12 months, sentenced uh, October 1949. 60 years later, still got the fingerprints. And the artwork. In photos, which will go to the Library of Congress, you can still see cell block drawings. Pictures of God and heaven or girls or just fantasy views of the world. You really get a sense of what it was like to be in there. These are the final lasting pictures of the Essex County Penitentiary. I don't think anybody's going to be particularly sad to see it go, but at the same time, you know, by any conventional term, it's a landmark.